I have 10 more mid-journey styles here for you today. Just add these to the end of your prompt, separated by a comma to get some results similar to these. So the first one is classicism, which adds a really old fashioned feel or elements to your image. We've got Pikachu wearing a nice old fashioned kind of like a uh, scarf or whatever it is around his head. Uh, very interesting sort of choice. And it always seems to add some stone to the background. You can see it with Goku, bit of a stone background, but with a gold sun painted behind him and a lot of the time you get this kind of like stone gold sort of yellowy look just like the modern family home not really modern at all more of a classical look and Darth Vader standing in front of that sort of stone wall bits of gold that same color scheme as the Goku image and Batman sitting uh, up upon like a stone top uh, something a bit different I don't know what he's thinking about and the futuristic car is sort of futuristic but has an old-fashioned style added to it which was pretty cool uh, sort of effect that classic classicism had here but dystopic punk has a way of putting everything into a dystopian sort of city scene you see the woman's face she uh, it's just a dystopian looking kind of image uh, very kind of half robotic half really old and destroyed sort of look to it Goku's got some goggles on walking through the street you can't actually see that it's dystopic here more the goggles I think and just the fashion but Batman he's in the he looks very dressed up for a dystopia with his goggles and uh, like just like the impact it had on this image. And Darth Vader looks completely different. I love the way it looks more like a kind of like a biohazardy type sort of uh, helmet than his helmet. Very nice touch. And the futuristic car just looks old, decrepit, and like parked in an old crummy alleyway somewhere. And Pikachu looking very old and dystopic. And the outline on this image is interesting. It's not a solid 3D render. There's like a little bit of an outline added to it in a dirty, sort of disgusting street in the background. And the Terminator, a little bit different. Uh, he's already from a dystopic future, but just some of the elements it added to the back and the ear, I thought was a nice touch. And the Incredible Hulk, again, in the background, everything looks kind of destroyed, sort of uh, post-civilization. Very nice touch and a little bit less obvious in this one, but still a cool image. Dramatic Jedi pose. This one's just a little bit of fun. It sort of gets everyone into a Jedi pose. You can see Batman has a lightsaber. The lightsabers tend to kind of match the character, which I think is a very interesting thing. As you can see with Hulk, he has a green lightsaber. Looks like he's flexing as well, kind of getting that bodybuilding routine in whilst, you know, waving his misty lightsaber around. And the Terminator, of course, his lightsaber is red. He kind of still looks like a good guy here, despite the red lightsaber. And Darth Vader doesn't even have a lightsaber. He's just singing in the opera for some reason. I don't know why this is the only one that uh, didn't seem to get really Jedi-esque, but uh, it's interesting that it did. But the woman's face, she, I think they're getting Jedi confused with Sith Lord here because he look, she looks like she's turning to a Sith Lord with those eyes. But the samurai standing in front of Mount Fuji, very samurai version of Darth Vader, and also just a very clean, nice image. And the modern family home has popped an empty Jedi robe in there with some kind of instrument. It looks like... Uh, Someone's sort of disappeared, kind of like Obi-Wan Kenobi in the original Star Wars, but this time the robe stayed standing up, so not sure what's going on there. And Goku, black and white image of Goku, a little bit different, a little bit more dramatic, but still very cool. Demonically inspired. This is a really interesting one to play with. It adds a lot of demonic sort of elements to a character, such as Superman here, looking very evil, very spiky. Darth Vader has those goat-style horns and the eyes. It's just a, such a cool looking image. And sometimes you do get this drawing style. It's a little creepy. Batman, just the red, the really, really pointy ears and just the way everything looks rough and torn. Very cool little uh, sort of twist to him. And Pikachu looks genuinely horrible and terrifying. And the bodybuilder just has some giant goat horns on his head. Well, Deadpool has some horns and like a red circle behind him, which was, again, a little bit different. And Barbie... She's dressed all in black, black hair, got the horns. She looks pretty evil, a very evil version of Barbie. And Mickey Mouse, he's got some blood on him, but otherwise looks very evil, very disgusting. And by that, I mean, he just looks like Mickey Mouse, uh, you know, like a classic you know, head of Disney figure looking very evil, just like you would see them in any other poster. And woman's face. This one I thought was a really cool image. The drawing style, the lifeless look in her eyes with all those horns. Very nice. The Terminator. There's no demonic elements, but the lighting and the fire with the yellow glow just adds something to the character. Now, if you haven't already, check out my Mid-Journey Style Pack. Over a thousand styles you can apply to your Mid-Journey prompts to get some pretty stunning images. And vintage Pulp magazine cover, as you can see by this image here, very old-fashioned magazine cover style. Works very well. We've got Goku here, very old-fashioned, city in the background, giant moon, 
just that faded style added to it. And Pikachu, I love the way it's popped it into what looks like a really old children's book cover from about 70 years ago, but very bright and standing out. And the Terminator, this looks like a like a 1960s book, sci-fi book cover. And I love the way that the woman has a mess, massive gun and the, and the big jacket on as well. Very different, very cool looking image. And this one I thought was really cool, actually. They actually managed to get Optimus Prime pretty much down pat this time. Usually Optimus Prime turns out a bit mixed up, but uh, I thought this was cool and it has that really old-fashioned sci-fi look to it. Unlike the next version, in which he's maybe transforming, I guess, or maybe he's just you know put on a little bit of weight. And Deadpool, just an old-fashioned style drawing, very sort of like faded sort of look to it with all the bits and pieces of ink coming off in the black area there. And Batman. Once again, looking old. This is the precursor to the George Clooney nipple suit. As you can see, there's nipples on this version of Batman for some reason. Every now and then, AI just adds a nice little something different to these images. And the modern family home just looks like, again, something from a really, really old magazine, illustrated, uh, very interesting image. A woman's face, much like the first image we saw, has that look of... Never seems to look happy. It's always a look of fear or horror. And the futuristic car. I love the shape of the buildings and the mountains. It's just a very old sort of retro futurism style. And bustling scene is a good, it's just a good term to use, I found, to add a lot of people into a background. Typically in a street, you can see Deadpool walking through a street of people. And of course, the woman's face. This was a very interesting one as we have the woman's face and people kind of around her. And also, looks like the people are being slowly integrated into the left side of the face, which was an interesting touch. And the Incredible Hulk, there's a bunch of people in the scene, one person in the center running away, very wise, but a, a bustling scene of people terrified of this giant green Hulk. And Superman is rusting, rush, rusting through, like a, I guess, like a train station or something. Bustling scene, lots of people, very 50s or 60s. And Barbie, lots of other Barbies in the background. This one more photographic, which I appreciated. And the futuristic car. So it usually just frames up the car on a street, but by adding bustling scene, it's added the futuristic side to everything. Put a bunch of people in there, and I really like the way this image has been framed up. But Batman, every now and then we get this really rough art style, which I do like, but again, just in a really busy street. And the samurai standing in front of Mount Fuji, he's posing like for a tourist photo. The details in the samurai I think are really cool, um, like in the armor, the colors of the armor, and also the fact there's a lot of people in the background. I really like this version of uh, this image, which usually turns out looking pretty much the same, more or less, from style to style, unless you get something that really sort of takes it to that next level. And drawn on recycled paper, a little bit different. Now, this image style isn't necessarily reminiscent of what you get, but you do get that old crumpled up paper style in the background, like it's been sort of drawn or sometimes printed on old paper. As you can see in the Incredible Hulk here, the paper looks like it's been folded and crumpled up. And then we've got like a drawing of him sitting on top of it. And the Terminator, same again, drawn, very cool image with uh, just like, again, really ruffled up paper. And the Samurai saying in front of Mount Fuji, I love the distinct fold marks. Like this has been folded uh, like three times and you get the six panels uh, looks like an old piece of art someone's found, folded up and carried around their wallet. That's what I really like about this image. And the woman's face, again, just a drawing of a woman on some crumpled up paper. Looks very authentic. Although the little bits of white added on there. Whoever drew this obviously used some white on top. And Barbie, similar thing again, except we've got a full color image. Uh, it looks a little bit printed from a distance, but up close you can see it's actually just a very fine piece of art. And Pikachu, a rough drawing on some old paper. Again, sticking to that style pretty well. I love the way the outline of Pikachu in this, and I've noticed somewhere in some of the other images, isn't a solid outline. It's like a scribbled outline that someone's done a few times over. It's a really nice touch to the art style. And 1960 Astro Boy style, you'd be surprised how much of an impact this had. So with the Incredible Hulk, he's like a little muscly child. Looks like it's from uh, Astro Boy. Whereas the uh, Modern Family Home, just a really 1960s style, but futuristic sort of uh, perspective of from what it would have been like in the 1960s looking forward to the future. The way it's added that aesthetic to this image is what really surprised me along with the Terminator. Looks like Astro Boy has turned evil into a killing machine in the 1960s printed ad and the eyes, very creepy. And Batman, just like a really creepy little kid in a bat suit. 
which, uh, again, it either seems to turn people into the kids or add some kind of cool 60s futurism to the image. And Darth Vader, he has a lightsaber that looks like a little wand or aerial attached to it. The mad colors was something I didn't expect. And Pikachu has a rocket attached to him, flying through space, old-fashioned 1960s style art, and the woman's face she looks like she is dressed up 1950s or 60s, but is wearing one of those old-fashioned sort of like, you know, upside-down fishbowl-type astronaut helmets. And the samurai standing in front of Mount Fuji, just the colors and the red with the space elements at the top, very nice touch. And blotchy art style. This is just another thing I found. Usually with blotchy, you can get some nice, well, blotchy texturized sort of uh, elements, but by adding art style, you get a cool blotchy art style. I just actually like the way the eye shows through in this image why I chose it but you can see how it's all kind of really blotchy in that style and same with Deadpool the edges blotching out kind of uh yeah just like a really nice slightly abstract sort of way of getting the edge of the character painted and same with Darth Vader here the blotchy art and ink there's a lot of different ways you can get this kind of look but this one just has a little bit more emphasis on the blotchy side of things such as Superman here I really liked the way it had the red at the top of this image and just the blotchy bits and pieces in the red on the shoulder, down the arm. It just it makes for an interesting image. Darth Maul, very blotchy, like he's coming out of the blotchy shadows. He's got a lightsaber kind of in front of him. Don't know how he's holding it. Maybe he's his arm sort of holding it up on the left there in the blotchiness, but a cool image nonetheless. And Goku, just a really cool painting image of Goku. Still in that cartoony style, but like a blotched up sort of background added to it. And Torn Magazine Strip Collage. This one, very cool sort of effect of shredded up bits of magazine to create an image. Again, Goku, the back, the background is what is mostly affected, but the way you can see the little torn up shreds in the sort of color of his jacket and skin, you can see the impact this image has. So this one again, same again, that background, shredded up bits of magazine, just an interesting impact. Although Batman, not so much. The Terminator, he's got some shredded up pieces of magazine in there as well. And of course, a futuristic card, the background of this, I love the way the background is in strips, but they're not the same width. Varying widths of strips in the back wall and the floor around the car makes for a very cool version of this image. And the modern family home, again, just made up strips of magazines. It looks like someone's really taken those strips and put this together as a collage for an art project. And the woman's face. I love this one, especially the fact that if you look at the left eye, there is another eye just sitting off to the side. I love little imperfection touches like that, especially because the woman obviously looks like a model of some sort. So adding a little bit of creepiness with the bits and pieces of paper is very cool. And Deadpool. Much like some of the other images, a bit of a background added around the character with some of the elements over the top of the character, but to a lesser degree. And Hulk, same thing again, but this one has a bit of a radial effect around him. So instead of just being strips that are vertical or in chunks, it has like a, a radial round appearance coming off of him, almost like he's uh, like it's radiating from him. And Vibrant Octane Render is the last bonus style and Octane Render is a type of 3D render style you can use, but Vibrant adds something really cool to the images. You can see the colors are just grossly oversaturated, but it makes for a really cool image. And with Batman here, the Octane Render gives it that super clean 3D style, but the Vibrance really adds just something to that color with the side, the pink side glow. And there's usually a lot of pinks and blues in this style. A lot of pink here with Goku. He, his proportions look a little bit stumped down, but you get that clean 3D render style. Very bright image. And the Terminator. The red has been changed over for pink, and he is glowing, looking evil, but also a little, I don't know, the pink doesn't make him look as terrifying. And the Incredible Hulk. The way you've got the purple pants and the pink background, you can see here you get this cool very fluorescent style image and the woman's face very much looks like a 3d render but the vibrance seems to have added something to the reflections creating a very interesting effect and darth vader just a 3d render of darth vader looking very shiny and clean but a little bit more color popped into it and samurai sitting in front of mount fuji doesn't have those very fluorescent colors but it does have a very bright vibrant look to it the way the sun creeps in on the side there very clean image because of the octane render style and this is just a really clean nice image and the fact he's in front of the water is also just a really nice touch and pikachu very furry looking like a very pic so picture perfect 3d render 
a little bit brighter. Not as bright as the others, but uh, we've sort of been spoiled by the others. This doesn't look too special until you kind of look away, look back and see that it is a bit brighter than usual. But otherwise, those are the styles for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed them and found them useful. Have a play with them. Have some fun and let me know how you go. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I hope to see you again next time. Have a great day. Have a great weekend.